Hello, my name is Helen Francis. I am the subject officer responsible for physics at EDUCAS. This presentation gives you an overview of the new specification for A-level physics in England for first teaching from September 2015. EDUCAS is a new brand from WJC set up to provide reformed GCSE and A-level qualifications in England and other jurisdictions that are able to offer off-qual regulated qualifications. Information will be provided on the assessment of the qualification, content, practical work, assessment objectives, question types and resources. The specifications for both AS and A-level physics together with the specimen assessment materials are available to download from our website. There are three components in the new EDUCAS A-level. They are all written examinations. The first component is Newtonian physics and it contributes 31.25% to the qualification. The second component is electricity in the universe and it also contributes 31.25% to the qualification. The third component is light nuclei and options, and it contributes 37.5% to the qualification. In all three components, learners will be required to demonstrate their ability to draw together different areas of knowledge and understanding from across the full course of study. All three components will be available for the first time in summer 2017 and the A-level qualification will be awarded for the first time in summer 2017. This is a linear qualification, so all units must be taken at the end of the course. If candidates wish to resit the qualification, all components will have to be retaken. Each topic within the new specification is laid out in a similar manner. Alongside the actual subject content, the following guidance is provided to aid the teaching of each topic. There is a working scientifically section, which highlights the practical skills which could be developed in the topic. There is a mathematical skills section, which identifies the mathematical skills which feature in the topic. There is a How Science Works section, which identifies where How Science Works skills could be developed in the section. In addition, if appropriate, specified practical work is listed at the end of the topic. These are practical activities which must be undertaken. So let's look now at each of the components. Firstly, component 1 is worth 100 marks and has an examination time of two and a quarter hours. This slide summarises the topics which feature in the component. The written examination is comprised of two sections. Section A contains questions on the topics which make up the unit and section B contains a comprehension question. The article will not be released in advance. Component 2 is worth 100 marks and has an examination time of 2 hours. This slide summarises the topics which feature in the component. Component 3 is worth 120 marks and has an examination time of 2 and a quarter hours. The topics which make up the unit are listed on the slide. The written examination is comprised of two sections. Section A contains questions on the compulsory topics in the unit, while Section B is the options question. Four option topics are available – alternating currents, medical physics, the physics of sports and energy in the environment. They have all been developed to link physics to the world of work. This slide summarises the main changes that have been made to the content contained in Component 1 when compared to the legacy WJC physics specification. This slide summarises the main changes that have been made to the content contained in Component 2 when compared to the legacy WJC physics specification.
This slide summarizes the main changes that have been made to the content contained in Component 3 when compared to the legacy WJC physics specification. There are two components in the new EDUCAS AS Physics qualification. They are both written examinations and contribute 50% each to the qualification. In both components, learners will be required to demonstrate their ability to draw together different areas of knowledge and understanding from across the full course of study. Both components will be available for the first time in summer 2016 and the AS qualification will be awarded for the first time in summer 2016. This is a linear qualification, so both components must be taken at the end of the course. If candidates wish to resit the qualification, both components will have to be retaken. So let's look now at each of the components. Firstly, component 1 is worth 75 marks and has an examination time of one and a half hours. This slide summarises the topics which feature in the component. Component 2 is also worth 75 marks and has an examination time of one and a half hours. This slide summarises the topics which feature in the component. This slide shows how the topics which make up both the AS and A-level qualifications allow the two qualifications to be co-teachable. The new specification has been developed to allow practical work to be an integral part of the teaching and learning of the subject. The specified practical work that features in the specification must be carried out. However, there is flexibility in the method that could be followed for each of the practicals. So how will practical skills be assessed? In the AS qualification, there is no practical endorsement. On the two written examination papers, questions will feature that will assess the practical skills of the candidates. A minimum of 15% of the marks in each AS series will be linked to the assessment of practical skills. In the A-level qualification, there is a practical endorsement. And on the three written examination papers, questions will feature that will assess the practical skills of the candidates. A minimum of 15% of the marks in each A-level series will be linked again to the assessment of practical skills. To pass the practical endorsement, learners will need to consistently and routinely exhibit five different competencies. They will develop these competencies over the two-year course by carrying out a minimum of 12 practical activities which cover a range of different techniques. This slide lists the assessment objectives for both AS and A-level physics. The weighting of Assessment Objective 2 is the same for both qualifications. However, there's a greater weighting of Assessment Objective 3 in the A-level qualification compared to the AS. A number of different question types will feature on the examination papers. Questions which will assess the quality of extended responses will be clearly identified and referred to on the front page of the examination paper. They will be worth six marks each. There are many resources that are available or will be available to support the teaching of the new A-level qualification. These include 
an interactive teacher guide, updated revision guides and a new textbook, a free question paper database, an updated data booklet and an updated terms and definitions booklet. Also, lab books will be available for purchase directly from us. Guidance will be provided on general practical skills, how to use a lab book and a guidance sheet for each of the specified practical tasks will be available. We also send out email bulletins on a regular basis giving important updates and news items you can subscribe to these on the EDUCAS A-Level Physics webpage. Finally, there are various websites that you can access directly. Should you have any questions regarding the new A-Level Physics qualification, then please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you for listening.